Adam told you that he, he did this to his mother? Right. Why would he confide in anybody? You did something in somebody way. Right, and I think it's like a power thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's a control thing. It's another thing that keeps me... So he's going to tell you he did something like this and then control you from saying anything? Or, or what? he's going to use that how against you? Yeah, like, what can I say? They didn't buy her story. They determined Caitlin poisoned Mary and she was charged with second degree murder. Prosecutors believe the motive was revenge, stemming from a toxic relationship Caitlin had with Mary's son. The evidence presented at the trial indicates that Ms. Connolly was the only person at that time that knew why this was happening and how her life was going to end. In the end, a jury would convict Caitlin of first degree manslaughter. But not everyone was convinced Caitlin was to blame, and Mary's own sister stood firmly in Caitlin's corner. I believe a young woman has been wrongfully convicted, basically railroaded for a crime that she didn't commit. But Judge Michael Dwyer had the final word. The court feels that justice for this agony and torture of this innocent victim deserves a severe punishment. She will be sentenced to a 23-year determinate sentence in state prison. As convicted killer, Caitlin Conley continues to profess her innocence now from behind bars.